Hello, everybody. Welcome to back to this week's episode of Sounds of the Valley. I'm your host, Nathan Blazer. With me this week, I have the illustrious, the one and only Captain Seabeard. How are you all doing tonight? Good to hear, good to hear. Uh, I look forward to uh, getting to hear all of you, uh, what you have in store for us. Y'all have been a blast to be able to just be around so far just in the pre-show, so I can only imagine what you've got in store. Uh, I'm just going to get out of your way and uh, let y'all get into it.
Once met a girl in the big city First time she told me her name was Lily Come to find out she was really a pixie Told me to call her Clementine Tragic. I guess even pixies can run out of magic. Wish I could give her some of mine. to Sounds of the Valley. Here is our lovely interview portion. Uh, today I have with me the illustrious Captain Seabeard, as always. Uh, so how about we just start with some basic introduction. Who is everyone that is on the couch? I am Christopher. I write most of the material and play rhythm guitar. I'm Maria. I play bass. Uh, I'm John, and I play lead guitar and rhythm as well, secondary rhythm guitar. Awesome. So uh, first question that I can personally really think of is, how long have y'all been a band? How did y'all meet? Let's get, let's get the origins of Captain Seabeard nailed down here <laughs> and forever. <laughs> We're probably going to need some help with that because I'm not really sure how it happened. Uh, I've been writing my own songs and uh, playing them 
for a long time, eight years, 10 years, something like that. And uh, I always wanted to play with other people, but I actually don't think I was at a point where I was adequately equipped musically to do so. And I've asked uh, John and Maria a few times to play with me. And then just more recently, I'd say like what, within the last six months, within the last six months, we've been practicing a lot and trying to do some shows. John, Maria, what are your inputs on this? What is what is your story of the Captain Seabeard experience origin story? Well, I would say we've talked about playing music for a long time. And then one day we're like, let's just jam. We have time. Let's do it. And then it was like, all right, we're playing a show together. So very impromptu on my end. But I think we played a show before we even practiced. Yeah, Didn't we sure. at, at Zimmergy? We did. did. So I didn't know any of the songs at all. I was just noodling, trying to play in key, which is okay, because it was honestly probably the best I've ever played, which is funny. <laughs> but that that's something I also realize when you're playing with people. There's like a high water mark when you first start playing, and then you're trying to get it back sometimes. But uh, anyways, oh, but remember like six years ago when, we, when I opened for you in Duluth? <laughs> yeah. Or maybe that was like... Yeah, that was that, that was a show yeah that was good that it was, was good. a show that existed so we've been we've been in each other's orbit a little bit for or i i have for a while for a, for a little while okay well it sounds like a very interesting little mix of how all that came to be so uh do you all have any uh upcoming projects uh any side projects that you're a part of shows etc yeah, I, I play percussion with Hannah Fleur. Mm -hmm. uh, so she's an artist that's in the area. We have kind of like a six, seven piece band that we're just getting rolling with. So you might see us around in the area this summer nice. in the future. I'll shamelessly plug the place that I work. So if anyone's looking f to book a show at Raw Deal in Menominee, we're looking for people. But we've that's where we've been playing a lot of our shows recently too. So, and it's a great place to play a show. Just it's a it's a it's a nice nice spot. So, oh, good comment. That seems like a good uh, transition to mention that I've been doing these shows that usually involve myself as the host, ourselves as the host act. And then I'll try to find other musicians, maybe two other acts between Eau Claire and Minneapolis, and I'll have them come play. And then I'll have a, ho uh, a, a handful of visual artists come display their work as well. And the next one we got is at Raw Deal on June 9th. And we have ourselves. We have, um, I believe it's Lulu and the Shoe and A Sunken Ship Irony, plus a bunch of great artists. And I've just been trying to do events like that. and build community and they're both Minneapolis um and yeah and we've got some we're planning to do some recording and potential potential music videos in the works and that sort of thing and since we're such a new band like uh just getting the gears turning and want to be mm -hmm. this is our like first proper documentation as far as us as a unit Nice. Well, I'm glad it sounds the Valley could help y'all debut in a way. Uh, Amen. So then real quick here, uh, where can people find you on social media and things? <laughs> uh, Captain Seabeard on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all the streaming services. All Yeah, pretty much all the streaming services were on there. Some of the stuff on there is older. Some of it's more recent, but we plan to get some more stuff up before too long. Nice. Well, I'm glad that we could have y'all on. Uh, and it's been, frankly, a real treat just having you. Uh, I've enjoyed just being able to rip, riff off of you and uh, getting to hear all the music that y'all get to do. Uh, it's absolutely lovely. I can't recommend it enough. I've personally been to the Raw Deal, my, raw deal myself. I love it there. It's such a good hangout spot um lovely coffee shop um and so i guess without further ado uh that has been our little interview portion of sounds of the valley now let's get right back to the music <laughs> 